whether it's a serve, whether it's a drive, whether it's a, a, a roll, hand battles, you want to like add power, add uh, speed to, to your movement. Mm -hmm. The most important part is that you don't tie it up the entire grip you don't mm. tie it up the entire wrist yeah. when when i tie when i tie my wrist like this yeah i have very limited motion right. and i can barely change the position yeah now what i focus on is i i grab the racket and i tie it, i tie this muscle here on my on my thumb and these fingers but i don't i don't tie the wrist so now my paddle is really tight on my on my hand yeah but i can really twerk it and move it and flick it and do whatever yeah. i want one one thing that you guys can practice is holding the racket with like less fingers instead of the whole hand interesting so so now when you tie it it's going to be still a little loose you yeah, know? so yeah. that you could practice like that and just and just swing it oh. You know, yeah. you're not gonna put the service in because you have less fingers, less controllable. But later, when you come over, then it's gonna be easier for you to feel a, a, a loser wrist yeah. when hitting the, the whole thing. Hey, all I was editing this and I noticed something really interesting. So, right here. Look at Zhao Mei's paddle. His paddle flips backwards a few milliseconds right before he makes contact with the ball. I noticed the same exact thing happen when I slowed down my friend Nick's drives a couple months back. You'll notice here, his paddle flips backwards and he whips through the ball. I learned later from the very kind tennis player comments that this is called wrist lag. Basically, as Zhao Mei was explaining, because his wrist is very loose and relaxed, he is essentially able to transform his paddle into a whip. I thought this video might help illustrate what's going on. So a side-by-side -side comparison, notice how relaxed Zhao Mei's wrist is to achieve this whip effect. I've always thought that power came from how much muscle or raw energy you can output, but after looking at this footage, I've learned that, at least in pickleball, power comes from the paddle head velocity, which makes a lot of sense because some of my flick shots behave in the same way. Wrist relaxed and snap. When I drive, I just tie my hand a, a second, right? Uh -huh. When I'm going to touch the ball, I tie it. Oh. A little bit, yeah, because that's the spot. But then I leave it loose Damn. every single time. Okay. Like it's, I come, I tie here because I'm gonna pull, yeah. and then I leave it loose. Mm. And I do that for my drops. I do that for everything. The drops I go here, really? and I just, I just even flick your drops. Leaves. Yeah, even with drops. So let me get this right. You're going loose. I'm, I, I, I pull loose oh, until I get uh -huh. under the ball, <laughs> and then, then I tie it just, I tie it this, yeah. like as I, as I pension, yeah. and then loose on the wrist so I can really go over. That's how I get all the yeah. spin I get on my surf, on my drives, on, on my back and same thing. It's like all, yeah. everything is super loose on my wrist, mm. so I can really grab the ball and maneuver. But at the moment of contact, like right before you're about to Right before, pull, I, 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 just, I just tie it this. Yes. So I can, so I can really whip it. Because ah. if it's if it's all loose, yeah. what's gonna happen is you're gonna discontrol it, right? right? So you want the wrist loose, but but so you wanna hold the racket, let's say, from one to ten on a power of like four to six. Sure. Most six. If you hold it more than six, it's, it's too much. Ah. Right. Four to six. It's enough that I cannot pull the paddle from your hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, even a little bit more. Like that. That yeah. would be that would be how you're gonna grab it. Uh -huh. And then from here you gotta learn how to move the wrist and all that. Yeah. To to really whip yeah. that ball. It, most of the players that you will see that uh, they drive the ball and the ball just goes up, flies. Yeah. It's because they're tightening too much and they're hitting with the entire arm. Yeah. Rather than rather than focusing on grabbing the ball and really maneuvering this part of the of the of the motion. Yeah. You gotta think like for instance like the the ball in these paddles. It stays like way less than in a tennis racket. In tennis right. racket, like with the strings, it comes in, you can maneuver. Right. Here you have a really little time to maneuver the ball. Right. So right when the ball touches, that's when all the action on your wrist huh. half. So it, you literally could hit, the yeah. ball is gone, and then I see people that 
does like this after, yeah. the ball is gone. Yeah. You cannot add any more spin to that. Yeah. You have to add the spin when you touch the ball. Yeah. And that's in these paddles, like, like such a little spin. And that's the timing that you gotta like flick that thing. Can I see you hit a few serves? Yeah, of course. All right, guys, we're gonna see up close and personal. I'm gonna stand as close as safely possible for you guys. <laughs> but uh, when you hit serves, there's shockwaves coming out of that. It's like, <laughs> boom, anime style. I, I like to hear the, the ball whistle. Yes. If I, if, if I serve and it doesn't whistle, I know I'm not moving my hand good enough. I know that I'm just... Yeah. All right, we're gonna slow mo this down. Jiao Mei, let it rip. Wow. You see that also when, when I come here, uh -huh. I am re I'm loose in my hip, I'm loose on my, I'm not really tensed up or my core, anything is tensed up, it's just, I'm loose on my shoulders, I'm loose on everything. Yeah. And then before I hit, that's when I get, I get a little tight because I'm, I'm loading. Yeah. And then right when I'm loading, that's when I, I unload and throw everything. Sheesh. And an exercise that I do a lot, and I'll do this exercise into the wall. Oh yeah. Same thing. So at the end of the day, same movement. It's like imagine I have the ball, uh -huh. I would do like this and throw it. Yeah. Now I have the paddle and the ball, I come here to throw it forward. Oh, yeah. Just wow. That is insane. And yeah. the same with the drives. Like can you can you just return return a slice here in the middle? You'll see the motion of, of the of my serve and the motion of my forehand mm -hmm. is gonna be fairly the same. Try again, try again. It's so hard to hit the return. Try again, I'll, I'll say for this after. Okay. And then I'll come here, down, and the same same thing, I come and pull it. And then I'll come here, down, and the same, same. same thing, I come and pull it. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Pretty much. Alright guys, that was another master class from Zhao Mei Vic. If you guys like this type of content, like up close and personal with pros like Zhao Mei, let us know in the comments below. Hit my man a like and a follow on Instagram. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. So good, bro.